Good morning, I'm Frank Powers, and this is Lifestyle Tucson, the program where I speak to our neighbors, the people behind the scenes of our amazing organizations, small businesses, and nonprofits. Our friends are informing you how they serve our community, and they are here to give you updates on future projects. So let's make some old friends today. Yeah. Bowling! Yeah, you better be, because today we're welcoming back Angel Charity for Children, and we're going to talk about the 2023 Angel Ball, Noir at Blanc, December 9th, 2023, at the Westin La Paloma Resort and Spa. Ooh la la. The annual Black Tie Gala is attended by donors and partners who support Angel Charity for Children. Elegant cocktail party, casino-style gambling, and fabulous shopping. A gourmet dinner is served in the glamorously decorated ballroom while listening to a world-class party band. This is truly Angel Charity's signature event and not to be missed as the Angel Ball was voted Tucson's best formal charity event by the magazine Tucson Lifestyle. Not to be confused with the radio show Lifestyle Tucson, which is what this is. But since 1983, Angel Charity has raised over 31 million to fund more than 129 different local children's organizations. And today, it's a Christmas party in the studio, so pull up a chair, because I've got plenty of chairs. Today, I'm fortunate to speak with Tana Lopez, silent auction chair at Angel Charity for June. Tana, how's it going? Wonderful. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're welcoming back uh, Jeannie Wynn, general chair of Angel Charity. Jeannie, welcome back. Thank you for having me. And also, we've got Valerie Finelli, communications chair of Angel Charity. Welcome back to Lifestyle Tucson. Hello. Welcome back. So I'm excited to have you back because we are going to talk about this big event that's coming up for the holidays. You've been with us all throughout the year, which is very exciting. Our first episode, we talked about Angel Charity. I welcome everyone to go listen to that first episode and learn what Angel Charity for Children is all about. Then you return back. We talked about some of the fun events. We talked about the big poker tournament back in the summer. Super fun. And now we're here to talk about winter. But I wanted to actually discuss what it means to you to be a part of Angel Charity because that's what I did in the last episode. So, Tana, I wanted to ask you that because it really means something to me and some of the people in my life because we talk about our careers, where we are and what we're doing. And I know some people are looking for more when it comes to their life. They always talk about joining the Peace Corps, wanting to make a difference. And it doesn't have to be their career. It's something they can volunteer for. It's something they can get involved with. So how did you get involved with Angel Charity for Children? And what does it mean to you to be involved with such a great organization? I've actually got to be a part of this organization for six years. But before that, I um, was just looking for something that was involved with children in the community. I'm a realtor. And being a realtor, you are very much immersed in in families and what they are experiencing in the community, their needs, their wants, the schools that the kids attend is very important to where they live, things like that. And me being the oldest of eight kids, being around children and protecting children was a number one priority for me. So community and children. And when I was looking for a place to give my time, Angel Charity spoke to me and hit all of the requirements. That's awesome. What advice do you have to anyone trying to get in that world where really just helping kids is a great motivator for a career, isn't it? You know, better than pushing pencils. Uh, think, <laughs> think of something. What, what do you think is the best way for someone to get into this world? Angel Charity focuses on the youth of Pima County. And if that is something that you want to focus on and give your time to, Angel Charity is going to be your best bet. And if you want to join Angel Charity, we are welcoming anyone who is interested um, to send in on the website. Is that correct, Jeannie? They can also connect with other angels in order to find out more about how to get involved. Super easy to do. Make friends in the community. That's the way to do it. You can go to angelcharity.org to get some of that information. And lots of information is there. And I'll give you some more of that in the recap. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. I'm sure there's some newsletters to follow as well. Because it's good to be informed about what's going on in your community. And I do want to talk about the community a little bit, too, before we jump right into this big event. Because I saw your logo when I was driving down the street on Country Club on Youth on Their Own's new building. So tell me about that, because I just had them on a little bit ago, and they are one of the most important organizations I think that we can help. And thank you so much for helping them. What a great thing you've done for Youth on Their Own. It's a fantastic organization and absolutely beneficial to the youth in our organization. They were last year's impact grant beneficiary and we renovated their building and just phenomenal and and vital 
to the population that they serve. Yep. And Youth on the Run is doing a lot of good stuff, helping kids out, helping kids get through high school and helping them get that education that they need. Because it says it right there in the name. It's youth on their own. What's sadder than that? So that's why we're trying to help them out. And I really love what you've done with them. And I've been able to just get involved with some of your some of your events all throughout the years. We've been becoming friends and all that. So I want to recap some of your great events throughout the year as we led up to the big holiday event that really celebrates all your donors and all the people involved at Angel Charity. And one of those things we're going to talk about is the Halo for Hire. So we'll get to that in a moment, too, because that was an event I attended. And that's how some of these other nonprofits in town can get involved and get some of the help from your great organization like Youth on Their Own did. So the year kicked off uh, a bit back in spring with Rock the Fox. So who attended that and what did you think of that great event? Tell me how fun Rock the Fox was. Rock the Fox was an amazing event. It was the first concert that we held. El King was our obviously leading act. It was very well attended and a huge success for a first time event this year. Is that one coming back? You're going to do another concert style event? We, this was the first one? So Rock the Fox was the first one, and we do plan to have another event like that next spring. I'm so excited for it. Uh, everyone that said they went had a good time. It certainly did rock, raised some money for a good cause. A lot of fun. Any other memories from that night? Lots of energy. Just, I mean, uh, a, a great uh, community outreach as well. Uh, some tickets were given to first responders, so that was a, a beautiful uh, thing to happen. Uh, just lots of energy. I think the biggest thing was a lot of people that had never heard of Angel Charity for Children or what our mission was came out to the event, and then they are now new donors to Angel Charity for Children because they bought tickets, and now they've opted into our newsletter, and now we are able to communicate with them and let them know about all the wonderful things we're doing in the community. That's the importance of entertaining events. It really is. And also a little bit of a celebrity endorsement. You get talented people like El King showing up, her fans come on out, and then her fans become your fans. And that's how networking works. And Tucson is the best place to network, get a lot of things done. We have a great community here. And even the nonprofits are neighbors and friends with the other nonprofits, yours being one of the biggest and the best. And when it comes to big and being a big deal, well, that's also you because you had a big deal Vegas poker party. The 20th anniversary was just this past year. And uh, tell me about that. Big success back in September. What was the outcome of the big poker party? We had over 350 attendees, uh, huge poker tournament, Texas Hold'em tournament. Uh, we had uh, our top 10 winners walked away with fabulous cash and prizes. Uh, we had, uh, if, if, if Texas Hold'em was not your thing. We had fun casino games. We had bingo. bingo. <laughs> it, it, was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. And, and an event not to be missed. And, and you will see that again next fall. Yes. And that's why I want to recap some of these things. If you missed these, you didn't miss out. Because you're doing all these great events. I'm surprised to find out that uh, Rock the Fox was the first one. So I, I'm glad to hear it's going to come back. The Poker Party, a 20-year tradition. That's exciting. Tell me real quick about the Halo for Hire. We had your chair on on the previous episode for Halo for Hire. So you can go listen to that on Lifestyle Tucson. That was when Angel Charity came back for a second time. And Halo for Hire is their way that they find other nonprofits to really kind of pitch and get the information out there for why Angel Charity is going to support them. So tell me about that and how successful that event was. And also, are you close to picking who's going to be next year's winner? Who's go, who are you going to help out next year? Give me the scoop. You don't have to give me the scoop. I understand. So our, our Halo for Hire is, of course, the heart of Angel. Uh, funding these, you know, beneficiaries are such a need in the community. And it's in process right now. Uh, so we've had our orientation. Applications are actually due Tuesday, January 9th. Uh, and so we would be granting this year at $1.3 million for funding to nonprofits Woo. in 2024. These projects will improve the lives of our children in Pima County. Information and registration can be found on our, on our website, angelcharity.org. And when you get to the website, click under Apply for Funding. And as a recap as to who is eligible, any agency in Pima County, Arizona that serve the needs of children under 18, they need to have a minimum of three years, 501c3 tax exempt status. Uh, so our, our grants, we will be funding charities, uh, our opportunity grants will range 10000 to 75000 and our impact grant, 
100000 to $1 million. That's incredible. I got to attend the Halo Fire to get some of the, the, the look at how it all works. It was fascinating. You've changed the process of it, you guys told me, and it was really fun. Exciting to meet some of those community members out there. Learned a lot about how it all works. And I've been telling every single nonprofit that I meet that they should make sure that they know about this great opportunity. You've even called me and told me to make sure I'm doing that. So I'm really glad to help spread the good word and the good news about how you're helping all these great organizations. So if any nonprofit is interested, there is a complete timeline on our website that will give them the entire process of what needs to be done. And again, January 9th is the deadline for receiving those applications. Um, in February, at our general meeting on February 28th, that is when the membership actually votes on the finalists for impact grant beneficiaries and opportunity grant beneficiaries. It's exciting. I mean, I'm going to be looking for the announcement when it happens because it's really a big deal for one of these great organizations in town. Something that everyone in the community can really just like raise up and be excited that whoever wins it, wins it. And the community wins. That's what's great about it. It's just good news for another great organization. And if it's not a favorite organization of yours next year, well, then make sure that organization knows about it. And then maybe they apply next year and then they're the ones that get it. I do love a lot of the work you guys do. It's so great to talk about it, but I also love partying. It's so important to do that and to treat yourselves right. So that's what we're going to do. Let's talk about the big party, the big angel ball at the Weston La Paloma Resort on the 9th of December. And this one's got a big fancy name. It's black or white tie or perhaps silver. What's this word, ladies? H-A-U-T-E. Hot. That's hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, the, word, the word couture is next to it. I learned how to pronounce that one a while ago. But yes, get some silver on there, right? Look all dazzling and fabulous. You got valet parking. There's appetizers, aperitifs, casino, gaming. You got exquisite dining, fashionista shopping, dazzling dancing, delectable desserts. And we're going to get a lot of information on this silent auction. So why don't we get some of that right now from our chair sitting right here. Tell me about the silent auction, Tana. What's going to happen at the big ball? So the good news is, is that the silent auction is actually already open. And you could go to angelcharity.org. And there is a button at the top that says silent auction. And you can get signed up and already start shopping and bidding. There you will find all kinds of unique and special gifts that have been donated to us from the community. You will find an exclusive trip to Cuba. What? I know. <laughs> a tour guide. I mean, it, it just sounds amazing. My, my name's written all over that one. So if anybody wants some competition with Cuba, you're going to be facing me on that one. But anyway, <laughs> there is a $10,000 scholarship. Uh, Chef Janos, who is very um, beloved here in Tucson, he is offering a private dinner at Studio Janos to be bid on. There is La Paloma Country Club membership, which everybody is in line to be a part of, and you get to be first in line with that one. There's Chanel, Valentino, Louis Vuitton, Louboutin, Gucci, and even the Diamond Store has donated. We've also got, um, you mentioned the... Rock at the Fox, L. King signed a guitar, and oh. we're going to be auctioning that item off. There's professional services, party planning, design, um, financial consultations, that kind of thing. We've also got tickets to the CMA Festival, mm. and it includes your hotel, so it's a four-day experience. We have got uh, KVOA. KVOA is offering two different experiences. For your college student who might be studying communications, which I'm guessing you might know a few of them, mm -hmm. who are interested in being in media, KVOA is offering an opportunity for one of them to be a weather anchor for a day. Wow. Yep. And then for your younger aspiring TV reporters, there is an another deal from KVOA that is offering a chance to be a kid reporter for the day. I love that so much. That's super fun. A, I've never been able to do the weather yet, <laughs> but that's a dream. But I get to be a reporter from time to time talking to local businesses on KOLD. It's super fun because it's kind of like Lifestyle too. somewhere on here. I talk to nonprofits and on the TV, I talk to small businesses. So it's really fun. I love being a community guy and I love doing those things because it does make you feel a little bit like a star when there's a TV camera there. So Absolutely. getting that practice for these young folks, that's mm -hmm. amazing and a great opportunity. What a unique thing to be able to bid on. I think grandparents out there would have an opportunity to give a, a great Christmas gift 
this season if they were to bid on those kinds of things for their grandkids. That is a great Christmas gift. That's a life change. That that would be what I call a flashbulb memory for a kid. Mm -hmm. They're going to remember that for the rest of their lives. You know, being able to do the weather, they get to be on television. That's still a big deal. And again, then it carries on on the Internet. They'll have that video forever. It doesn't just go into the ether. <laughs> so that's really exciting. Let me ask you, since I'm talking to you, um, you've been with the with Angel Charity for like six years. How many times you have you gone to the ball? I have actually gone to the ball for eight years. Oh, I had a, there you amazing, go. My first experience at the ball, which is also another good reason why I joined Angel Charity, but my first experience was a Cinderella experience. I had rented a dress, and the dress that came in was not the dress that I wanted. Oh, it was, it was awful. So I decided um, I would go to it, the day of the ball. I went to Maya Palace to see if maybe they had something to maybe just dress it up, make it look nice. And, of course, their customer service is superb. And when I walked in, they were like, oh, we'll take care of you. We'll, we'll figure it out. And they brought me all of these dresses. Well, one of them was this $1,000 silver dress, and I had no business trying it on, but I did. Mm -hmm. And I tried it on, and this woman came in, didn't know her from Adam. And she was like, oh, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm going to my first angel ball. And she knew all about it. She knew how special angel charity was to Tucson. Mm -hmm. And she's like, is this the dress you're going to wear? And I said, oh, no, no, no. I can't, I can't afford this dress, but I just wanted to try it on because it was so beautiful. She turned around and bought me that dress that Get day. Get out of town. I kid you not. And, I mean, I just I have hair <laughs> raised up on my arms every time I tell that story. It was, it was so special to just feel like Cinderella that day. She had it hemmed for me, the shoes, everything. It was absolutely incredible. And to experience that first ball like that just touched my heart in such a way that I knew I needed to sign up. Heck, yeah. Look at that. And I bet you've been paying it forward nonstop ever since. I do my best. Heck, yeah. That's fantastic. What a great story. Don't you love just a nice story about people being nice? Mm -hmm. well, that's what we're all about right here. <laughs> Let's tell some more nice stories, right? Tell me about your experience, Jeannie, with the ball. How many times have you had a ball? I'm sure it's a few. Been doing this for a while, right? I've been an angel for 10 years. Yeah. My first experience uh, with the ball was probably maybe 16 years ago. I had been going to the ball five or six times when I was approached uh, by an angel who was a wife of a coworker, actually. So there was a connection. She knew my uh, passion for the community. She knew my involvement in organizations. And she said, I think you'd be great for angel. Um, at that time, I only thought Angel Charity was a ball, that right? And oh, wow. so much more. Yeah. So, um, you know, since my last 10 years has just been very rewarding um, and learning all the aspects of Angel, but it started many years before I, before I actually became involved. Heck yeah. What about you, Valor? Do you have a, tell me some, tell me some uh, memories about ball. <laughs> I don't know if as great of a story as Tana. I don't think any of us <laughs> do, but still. Um, this will actually be the fifth ball I've attended. Um, the fourth as an angel. And previous to that, I went with some coworkers and I knew Angel Charity for Children was something I wanted to be a part of because I think it's so important to give back to the community and really find time, find that time to dedicate so I just, I jumped at the opportunity when um, another angel invited me, and now I can't even imagine missing the ball. It's always so great to see the decorations and try the food, and most importantly, see those beneficiaries get those checks at the end of the night and really see what it means to them. And I get the chills just thinking about it again, because it is just all so meaningful. It's a culmination of an entire year of fundraising. So it's just, um, it's really special to be a part of. Now that's super nice because I also, I work with uh, some other fun groups and I, I work with like a local uh, Comic-Con. It's Tuscon. It's a sci-fi convention. And it was its 50th anniversary. It's been going on that long that like, you know, these Star Trek conventions, they hang around. And to these people, and it's so fun to help organize it. And I've been helping, I help them through the pandemic, do a virtual one and do some stuff. It is their family reunion. It is to these folks their favorite annual thing. And I'm sure for all you who volunteer and work at Angel Charity, not just the, the donors and all the people out there in the community, but you guys that are actually behind the scenes of this organization must look forward to this event like it is your favorite thing because it is a Christmas party for all of you to get together with friends and family that you're all doing it together, lifting up and celebrating, which is so nice. And I'm sure it's great to see. 
Tell me a little bit about how people can get involved with Angel Charity because it's always so good and we always like to have a call to action here on Lifestyle Tucson and obviously huge volunteer organization. So how can people get involved with Angel Charity and what kind of things can they do to help out? Absolutely. There's so many areas that uh, they can uh, assist us and Tana spoke to some of that uh, earlier in the conversation. Um, so, you know, different ways that they can involve us through donations. Um, you know, 100% of your capital campaign donation goes directly to our beneficiaries. You can donate gifts and certificates, uh, such as uh, TANA's Silent Auction Committee. Uh, you can support our events throughout the year. We've talked about those. Uh, and you can sponsor our, our events, our many events. And we would like to give a shout out in a minute to our Triple Halo sponsors Absolutely. and our media sponsors. I mean, it, it, it you mentioned you. We talked about the the ball, and you know, it's a wonderful holiday party that it is. But it really is. It's a thank you to all our volunteers, our members, our donors, really celebrating the accomplishment of what we've done all year. And we can't do it without those donors and those sponsors. And so we thought we would highlight a few of our Triple Halo sponsors and our media sponsors specifically this yeah. year. Let's shout out those thanks. Let's get let's get some of our friends and neighbors some uh, some some credit here. Absolutely. So we have some amazing Triple Halo sponsors. We cannot thank them enough for their support this year. Arizona Complete Health, Hughes Federal Credit Union, Hazen Family Foundation, Tucson Appliance Company, Deanne Gibbons, Wealth Management Partners, HSL Properties, Lappin Sunshine Foundation, and Gadabout Salon Spas. We'd also th like to thank a lot of our media partners as well. Arizona Lotus Corporation is one of our media partners, mm -hmm. and we appreciate the time that they give us on air promoting um, our fundraising efforts. We have Tucson Lifestyle, Cox Media, Bustos Media, iHeart Media. KVOA, maybe? KVOA. <laughs> Thank you. That's a very important one. Thank you, Kathy. She is an angel as well. Clear Channel Outdoor. They give us billboards around town promoting our amazing events. But the biggest thing as we finish the year is, did we meet our fundraising goal? And that is when we get to find out how much we actually raise. But the fundraising does not stop ever. Mm -hmm even though we raise enough to fortunately fund our beneficiaries, the fundraising doesn't stop. But it is amazing to see those cards lifted up at the ball, showing our attendees how much money we have raised. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work what you do because it is hard to convince people to give. It can be because things are tight. Things can be troublesome. We all have things going on, but man, when you help out Angel Charity for Children, you're helping out so much and you really are helping the community. You're helping out your own street and your own neighborhood by getting some money to the great organizations that really help all the other organizations in this great town. So I love when you guys come on because it is a party in the studio and it's just about talking about fun things and helping. And that's my favorite part about hosting Lifestyle Tucson. So any final thoughts or any calls to action that you have for here before we wrap it up? You know, one additional comment I would like to quickly make is it takes a lot of people to put on the wonderful celebration that we have at the end of the year. And so if anyone is interested in volunteering to help us that evening, so if anyone is interested in assisting that evening, they can reach out to info at angelcharity.org, and we will get you in contact with our volunteer coordinator. It takes over 150 volunteers to assist that evening, and we're grateful for everyone's help. That's right. Many hands make light work. So if you want to go get involved, I think volunteering is a good way to do it. Get out there and do some fun stuff. I would also like to give a huge thank you to, to our entire community, our donors, our sponsors, sponsors, our volunteers, and especially our angel members that work countless hours putting forth our mission. And you know, we focus each meeting with a moment of gratitude and thanking our angels. It's very important to us that we recognize and we see the work that they do in this community. So I just want to give an extra thank you to the work that they've been doing. Absolutely. And I thank you for that. Thanks. That's excellent because that's what people need, right? A pat on the back goes a long way. It really does. 
thanking all these great organizations, even those sponsors, they really count. It might just sound like a list of organizations, but no, these are organizations that are really helping take care of a lot of people here in town. We couldn't do it without them, and we couldn't do any of this without all of you here. So thank you for coming and talking to me on Lifestyle Tucson, because today we made friends with Tana Lopez, silent auction chair at Angel Charity, Jeannie Wynn, general chair of Angel Charity for Children, and Valerie Finelli, communications chair of Angel Charity for Children. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. This was Lifestyle Tucson. A bing bong bing. Time for a recap. Another great conversation with Angel Charity for Children. It's always a party in the studio. They always bring three, four, five people, people waiting in the wings, always having a good time. And of course they're waiting in the wings. It's Angel Charity. So I really enjoy hanging out with them and talking to them. Very inspirational, very good, big organization to see how it all works here in town. I enjoyed going to the Halo for Hire event. It was great to see how some of this happens and how they really work as an organization to help other organizations. If you're a nonprofit, you can go find out the deadlines for the Angel Charities Halo for Hire right there on the website as well, and you should. Just make sure that you follow them at Angel Charity for Children on Instagram at angelcharity.org. You'll also find tickets to the biggest ball of the year. It is the Angel Ball Noir at Blanc, December 9th at the Weston La Paloma Resort. Have a good time there. It's black tie or silver hot, as I just learned that term, hot couture. Uh, And yeah, go get all that information there on their website at angelcharity.org and have a good time. All the money that goes to those tickets is going to a great cause and it's a really great way to celebrate a bunch of fine folks in the community get to know some people in that community there because they're the ones that are helping out you got to meet some of these angel investors they're called and there it's not just because they're angel charity for children it's really uh, a lot of philanthropic people in town that do help out these organizations because they really want to help children and you know what angel charity is the way to do it it's really uh, an easy way to help a lot of kids right here in tucson So I want to thank our holiday elves at Angel Charity for Children for joining me today. You've been listening to Lifestyle Tucson. If you're a nonprofit that would like to be on the show, email lifestyletucson at gmail.com. For more information about this program or to listen to something you may have missed, go to the Sunday mornings page on klpx.com, kfma.com, mixfm.com, or espntucson.com. You can subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, and wherever fine podcasts are having a ball. Follow on Facebook, Instagram, and especially YouTube at Lifestyle Tucson because I'm your BFF, Frank Powers, Toot Toot Tucson. I love you the most.